last week on The Pulse. First and 10 for the Georgia 19. Kellen, he's got Osmond across, inside the 10, to the 5. Oz is in the end zone for a touchdown, a 19-yard touchdown for the Aggies. Watch Weidemeyer try to get outside and then get inside. Oh, oh yeah, yanked him back. But you got to turn it loose in the game and trust yourself. You guys, you guys are a hell of a football team, man. We got to make our minds up. We got to go take it. You make smart plays, you make the ordinary play. You do it better than anybody else. Believe in what you do. Have passion for what you do. And when you embrace the grind, the grind will reward you. Yes, sir. You got to turn up, baby. Play Texas A&M football. What we believe and what we live every day. Family on three, one, two, three. Bam. The inches are there. The crumbs are there. Pick them up. The inches are there, fight for them. Toughness, effort, discipline, pride and grit. Sink your teeth into it and be somebody. Sink your teeth into it and be somebody. Find out something about yourself. This is our night, our time, our way. Put your foot down and go. Trust yourself. Be yourself. Be a damn team. And be a damn competitor. Burrow keeps, he's not going to get anything. He's not going to get back to the line of scrimmage. A minute 29, no timeout. The Aggies have to get a touchdown. Bad snap, Kellen has to throw it, throws it up in the air, and it's picked off by LSU. And once again, the Aggies have not defeated LSU as members of the SEC. Grant Delpit with his sixth INT of the season. Oh, I think he's down. Putting the knee down when he went after the loose Yeah, ball. Well, they're showing that replay right now. He is down. The quarterback's knee was down at the 39 yard line. Ball will be placed there where it'll be third down. Please set the game clock to 36 seconds. Final play of this one. Aggies down 31 24. Rodgers goes in motion. The snap to Mon. They need the touchdown. Kellen throws across the middle. Touchdown, Aggies! Courtney Davis! Wow! What a throw from Kellen Mond to Courtney Davis. Here in the seventh OT, down 72-66. Kellen looking over the middle, complete Q touchdown, Aggies. Q does it again. It's a quick slant and a beautiful throw by Kellen Mond once again. And this game is tied, and the Aggies can win it with a two-point conversion. The snap to Kellen. Kellen rolls to his right. Kellen stops, fires back over the middle. Time to conversion. Kendrick Rogers and the Aggies win 74 72 in seven OTs. Here's your rivalry. There's Bedlam here. The fans are, are storming the field. The Aggies have won for the first time since they joined the SEC. Number eight goes down on Kyle Field, 74-72. Texas A&M over LSU. Thriller. Thriller, big thriller. Uh, long game, tiring. A lot of people are like, bro, what, is it a fun game? I'm like, it was fun to win, but it was really tiring. Seven overtime is a long time, but it, thriller is a big, it's a big word for it. We'd go from feeling feeling no hope to, oh my gosh, we, we have a chance to win this game, and then to go to winning, and just the duration, and just seeing my brothers out there, how, you know, I was hurt. Seeing my brothers out there, how they were just persevering the whole time and literally fought, out fought those guys, and they wouldn't quit. It's just crazy. Right when that game ended and we got in the locker room, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be some stuff next year. This is gonna be a, some talk about it next year. After last year's A&M LSU saga, there's been some chatter this year. One question for conversation, does this now qualify as a rivalry? I think, uh, you know, with what they're saying, you know, across across the way and the trash they're talking, I, 
I guess you decide. <laughs> it was a great game last year. We got to build off of that, though. We got to keep this this thing going for you know for us to really declare it as that. So I think because of what happened last year, uh, you know, you could say that. Obviously, everybody knows you know Texas and you know A and M and you know that type of rivalry. Even though we don't play, but you know I think you know the more you know this Texas A and M LSU kind of this this thing goes on, I think it could end up being a really good rivalry. I think that they will make it it. They will make it a rivalry game. I don't know if the players will, but I definitely, the fans definitely will, just because that's seven overtime game. One thing is certain, the atmosphere on Saturday night in Tiger Stadium will be electric. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Um, we're, we're expecting that, you know, that's part of being the SEC West. Uh, but that's what we get every week, so we're not going to make anything bigger than it's going to be, but it's going to be pretty crazy. But uh, we're going to just try to play and, you know, try to not – and block out all that external pressure. Well, my uh, retro freshman year, I played there, and it was already crazy. And we did, and that was prior to the crazy thriller game. So now it's gonna be, I bet, two times that. They have a lot on the line, you know. They have some animosity built up too. We have some built up too. We have stuff to play for. So you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be exciting. There's, there's a lot going to go on. At the end of the day, it's about what we do, not about what they do. You know, it's not like, oh, this game is gonna bring a new energy, something like that. This one might because, you know, last year it was the craziest, like, highest scoring game in football history, stuff like that, and there's a lot of buzz around it, so it may bring a little extra, more energy just naturally, but other than that, it's just another an, another week, another opportunity to put yourself in position and be successful on Saturday. Coming up! <laughs> Less talk, more work. The Aggies prepare. They know 2018 will not decide 2019. You know, whatever happened in the past, the history is whatever happened. It's about what you do on the field, and that's where your focus has to be. That's, I mean, that's great. I mean, it's all, that's what creates the great environment of college football and the things that go on. But listen, they got a great football team. We're getting much better. We have a very, very good football team, in my opinion. We have to play better. It's going to be a super challenge, and we're going to have to play complete, a complete football game. They're pretty straightforward man coverage team. You just got to win your one-on-one -on -one battles. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the defense is going to prepare us something different. I don't know, because they're a pretty high-scoring team. But we have a pretty good passing defense and rush defense, so you know, I'm excited to see what Coach Elko is going to do for this game. For sure. Um, you know, their offense does a little different stuff. You know, they're, they're, they're a little more high flying, have that spread offense. So obviously there's going to be some changes schematically, but as far as approach wise, we're just going to approach it the same. We've been approaching each week in the past and, you know, just try to correct our mistakes and, you know, try to be successful. LSU is ranked number one in the AP poll. This gives A&M the distinction of facing three different number one teams in the same season. No one in college football history has gone against that gauntlet. I mean, I knew our schedule was going to be tough, but I didn't know we was going to be playing the number one team that many times. You know, I feel like if we make it more than it is, it will be more of a distraction than an opportunity. So you just have to keep it an opportunity, keep it uh, nothing more than it is, focus on what's really important, your plays, your your confidence in your teammates, your c consistency in practice, and just putting your best self out there on Saturdays. At times it can be hard not to look at the rankings, obviously, because, you know, something that's so talked about, but, um, but at the same time, you know, you don't really, you know, want to, you know, press too much about, you know, you're playing the number one team. You know, at the end of the day, you know, they're the same guys as us, you know. We have talent, they have talent, you know. So, I mean, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a really good game. We better get it right on one of these guys. and We have one more chance, so just hoping that we capitalize. Thanksgiving to everyone, to all the family, all the family, the guys here and, and families represented on behalf of Coach Jimbo Fisher and the entire staff and everyone here, we would like to say happy, happy, blessed Thanksgiving to you all. With all that surrounds Saturday's contest, it can't be forgotten Thursday brings another Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and football go together, man. It's part of being in this country, and it's one of the great things, and everybody gets to watch it, and you get to provide everybody some, some enjoyment for a great weekend. I think I've just been doing this for so long that I honestly forgot that people get off for this holiday. Even though it's like a work day for us, 
it, when it's a holiday for others, it's still a family-oriented thing because you you with your brothers, you eat with your brothers, uh, and you make it a Thanksgiving with your team. So, after practice on this occasion, the time-honored tradition of the Turkey Day feast isn't forgotten either. You gotta, everybody gotta have that turkey, and you gotta have the turkey stuffing. I, a lot of people don't like turkey stuffing. I love turkey stuffing. I have to have uh, candy M's. Macaroni and cheese combo, those two together. If you ever want to quiet me, if I'm talking too much, just, just give me some ham and some dressing and <laughs> some rolls, and I'm good. The Pulse Texas A&M football is brought to you by Gritty. It's a whole new way to buy power. And Pepsi, the official soft drink of Texas A&M football. Last season, the Aggies 74-72 win in seven overtimes at Kyle Field. It ignited a rivalry between the Aggies and the LSU Tigers. The Aggies, they're seven and four coming into this game. Last year, LSU was number eight. This year, number one in the AP, number two in the college football playoff. It's the Aggies and the Tigers from Tiger Stadium. Great challenge out here tonight. Got a hell of a football team. There's a damn hell of a football team in here. Yeah, There's a damn hell of a football team in here. Yeah. Understand something. They want to get you. You know why? You're the last team to beat them. You're the last team to beat them. Okay? Same guys. Same thing. How you going to do it again? Not worry about beating them. Play their ass off. Play your ass off each and every play. Alignment, assignment, technique. Alignment, assignment, technique. Toughness, effort, discipline, pride, and grit. Those are things when it ain't going well, that's what's got to regurgitate in your head. That's what's got to regurgitate in your head. Alignment, assignment, technique, toughness, effort, discipline, pride, and grit. You don't win these games because you want to. You win because you train to, and you're willing to put your heart and soul on the line to compete in the football game. We're blessed to be here. It's Thanksgiving week. We, we give thanks. Yeah. We're thankful to be here and what we got in our life and the opportunities you get in your life. You keep getting put in these situations. Toughness is great. You got to have it. You got to be tough and smart. Smart and tough wins. Is somebody who's willing to lay it on the line and not worry about the outcome. We'll worry about the outcome when it's over. We'll play the game, each situation, to our fullest. Let's go be a family right here. Go get this thing. Let's take advantage of this thing right here now. Come on. Huh? Love, trust, and believe in each other. Braden Mann, the line drive boot that will sail out of the end zone, and LSU will get it first and 10. Burrow from the pistol. He's got pressure coming from the left side, rolls to his right, Matabike chasing him. Burrow's gonna run, and about a yard before Matabike takes him out of bounds, and a flag. Personal foul, horse collar tackle, number 52 on the defense. Pressured by Peavy, here comes Buddy Johnson, throws right sideline, completed the 20 to the middle of the field inside the hashes before Charles Oliver on the tackle. Edwards Elaire bounces left side into the end zone, a five yard touchdown LSU scores on the opening drive, keeps 35, 40, right sideline, knocked out of bounds into the LSU sideline, which is the near side at the 43 yard line, a 13 yard gain on the keeper by Kellen Mond. Third and eight, pressure coming, Kellen floater down the right side, Nia Smith sailed over him and out of bounds and the Aggies have to punt. Burrow from the pistol, here comes pressure, rolls to his left, has room on the left side to the 45, 40, and run out of bounds by Charles Oliver. Edwards Elaire left side, he's hit by Matapique in the backfield and another tackle for loss. Throw into the right side of the end zone, misfired, incomplete, intended for Terrace Marshall Jr. we bring up a third and nine. Burrow in the pocket, that collapses, throws right side, wide open, touchdown, LSU. The start goes all wrong. There's no stopping the LSU high-powered offense. A&M on offense can't get the current flowing. 78-yard TD to Jamar Chase. A touchdown run by Tyrion Davis-Price. But the Tigers roaring and up big at the break. Can't look for no excuses. Can't look for no holes to hide in. Got to make plays. And how you do that, go right back to your fundamentals. Don't panic on this thing, but you gotta have urgency, man. We gotta talk and we gotta play ball. You gotta find out who you are, what you're about, what you stand for, and what you wanna be about. 
That's it. At the bottom line, of testing your manhood. At the end of the day, that's what it is. You either gonna do it or you ain't. You gotta match their physicality. They here ready to play. We gotta go match it and play it. But what we gotta find out is where our hearts stand up for us, where our guts and our character stand up for us. That's what it is right now. Let's find out who we are right here. Let's find out what we want to be about, what you want to say, in the future, what we're doing here and finish this year the right way, okay? Get your ass in here. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Make the adjustments. Trust the coaching. Trust the guy beside you. Family on three. One, two, three. Bam. Coming out for the second half, the Aggies are hoping to gain momentum. But they keep losing ground. Low snap to Kellen. Takes off to his left and two yards shy. A two-yard loss for Kellen on what looked like a draw. Kellen rolls to his right. Here comes pressure. Hit as he throws. And incomplete. Across the middle, up high. Rodgers goes up incomplete. He dropped it as he hit the turf with the hands extended, but incomplete. And each drive for the Aggies, this is the seventh, is ending with a punt. This is a third and 22. They have to get to the Aggie 44. Here comes Damani Richardson. A little swing pass, Edwards Hilaire. Devin Morris with the tackle back at the 35 yard line. Boy, Terrific got job. Got some help late from Miles Jones. They brought pressure that time and made it work. Uses the block. Kellen intercepted by Delta at the 40. Heads to the 35 30. On the left side, 25 20. And he's tackled by Carson Green at the 18 yard line. Snap back to Burrow, has to roll to his left, and he is sacked. Devin Morris comes in, the rolling ball back to Burrow. He runs to his left after getting control, and Devin Morris shot right in from defense. Burrow from the left hash, pocket collapses. Tyree Johnson after him, rolls to his left, flag is down, throw complete. Incomplete to the 11-yard line. 50 yard from the left hash for York. He sure has plenty of leg. Good. He hit a 51 yarder. He hits a 50 yarder. LSU extends its lead. In the third quarter, despite a deep hole, AM keeps clawing and inches towards the end zone. Isaiah Spiller on the right side, big hole. Gets around the right side, cuts back inside as he gets towards the hashes. And his longest gain is six yards ahead to the 31 yard line. In motion goes Davis, fake the jet sweep to him. Kellen throws right side wide open out of the backfield, the wheel route. Isaiah Spiller, 45 40, 35 30 up the right sideline, 25 to the 20 yard line. Isaiah Spiller. Who I love the call, just a wheel route. Isaiah Spiller out of the backfield, nobody covered him. 45 yard completion, Kellen Mond to Isaiah Spiller. Spiller right side, angles, first down, bounces inside the hashes. Backing his way towards the goal line. He's inside the one to the half yard line is Isaiah Spiller. First and goal from the half yard line. Kellen, give, Spiller, touchdown, Aggies. Little at a time. Just a direct handoff off that right side. He got in there easily. Get Spiller out of board. Out of board, Isaiah. That's it. The Aggies get a score, but this is LSU's night. The Tigers will remain undefeated, and the good times keep rolling on the Bayou. Here comes LSU. Kellen rolls to his right. Shy of the 45, throws to the end zone for Courtney Davis. It's intercepted in the end zone by Jacoby Stevens. Brennan fake to him. Brennan fires right side. Complete up the right sideline, 35-30, 25-20, 15-10-5. Touchdown, Tracy McMath. LSU remains undefeated after defeating Texas A&M by a final of 50 to seven. The Pulse Texas A&M football is brought to you by Gritty. It's a whole new way to buy power. And Pepsi, the official soft drink of Texas A&M football. They lined up. Kick your ass. That's simple. It's that simple. That's my fault. I, I, I got you ready for that. We got to do a better job of preparing. As coaches, we got to do a much better job of putting you in position to be successful. But at the same time, all the little things, when you want to play an elite level of football, that's a very, very good football team, guys. And when you do those teams and you have to play at that level, all the little things make a difference. A snowball, keep poised, 
execution, alignments, assignments, all the things you got to do. I don't think there's any lack of want to, but we got to understand the level of play in which we have to play at. I just kicked your butt. Kicked our butt, my butt. I prepared you for it. I'll take that blame. But we got to take a deep, hard look at ourselves and understand this game ain't easy. This game is hard to play at an elite level. It ain't just everybody plays. It's an honor to get on that field and a privilege to get on that field. You earn your right to get on that field. And when you get on it, you got to make plays, you got to do what you're responsible for, and you got to hold up to your end of the bargain. <coughs> Hope that's a hard lesson for us to learn tonight. We're not that bad of a football team, as the score indicates, but we are, and we don't do the things we got to do. And the details of things, all the things you do on the field, off the field, everything matters. Those reflect, they'll come out, guys. You can't be like that. But at the same time, I, your heart, your guts, I don't, there's not anybody that doesn't want to win, and nobody here that I think wouldn't go to battle with. We have to take a look at ourselves as how we do things, how we practice. And we had what? This week we had practice, I mean, we, didn't, we didn't have a good practice till win. Thursday. Shows. Cause and effect, guys. Because you do something, that's the effect of what happened. And just don't magically turn on and off. I ain't saying you want it to happen. I know it hurts. But those are the facts. Facts for me, allowing it to happen. You're either coaching it, you're allowing it to happen. We got to not coach it, we can't allow it to happen. It's not personal. We just got to do things right. Next week, we'll get you the schedule, how we're going to do things. We'll find out after a week here where we'll go to the bowl game at. And these 15 practice for the bowl game, we got to become one hell of a better football team for the end of this year and for the future of where we're going. Because there's good players on this team, and there's a good football team in here if it will work and have toughness and effort and discipline and pride and grit. But if it doesn't, it won't. You gotta take a deep hard look how bad you want it. How bad you want to be elite. It's a price to pay in everything you do. But there's a good team in here and I'm not doubting that. But we didn't we, we gotta play better. Hard lessons learned on a dark night in Louisiana. A hard look within is what it'll take now. That's what we did. We were 50 to 7. You got to understand that. Why did it happen? How did it happen? And you don't let it happen. And, and how do you stop it from happening? And that's you are what you put on the scoreboard. And that's what we were. Everybody says, you know, that's not you. Well, it is us. That we did do that. We did other games. We didn't. But why did it happen? How did it happen? And the things on the field that allowed that to happen. What, our, what we did leading up to it, and how we have to think and prepare and level ball, which we have to prepare for. And not to let that happen again, because we're, again, I think we're a much better team than that, but it is what we did. The upcoming timeline allows for almost no time at all. Saturday is in the past. The present and future now blend together. Some of the toughest times, because you got to get your team ready and find out what bowl game you're in. We'll have to get on the road on visits and get into homes and make sure we're securing the guys that we've already got locked up and, and finalizing on some guys that we're in a battle with. And, uh, and as you organize bowl practice and practice for bowl games and get on the road. That, for coaches, usually those are the most strenuous, tough times in the longest days because you're on, I mean, it's all night, all day, every day for, for a long period of time here for a couple weeks. But, you know, it's, that's what it's made about. What players you get, the recruiting you get, the depth you add, and the players you add to your program. So it'll be a very, very busy time. With the bowl game on the horizon, the Aggies aim to shed a different light on themselves. They have one last chance to make a lasting impression.